Jessica, it's not going to be a washout, but it is going to be wet at times. If you have plans tomorrow afternoon, make sure you have an alternate indoor location to move into. Very similar to what we said last week. This is mainly afternoon tomorrow. Localized downpours on the way, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. We'll start off with a look outside right now. We just took you out to beautiful Medford. Now a live look at beautiful Center City, Philadelphia, all lit up this evening. Things looking good right now, but we do have some locally heavy showers and storms that have just formed off to the south and west. They actually just issued a flash flood watch for that region, not our area, but just an indication of what we're dealing with here with any shower or storm that forms this weekend. So much moisture, what we call precipitable water in the atmosphere. That's basically how much water is there for storms to work with, how much rain could fall in a worst case scenario. And there's a lot of it. So these storms, again, like wringing out a sponge when they come through heavy rain, you can see denoted by the red and even that burgundy color there just north of Providence, south of Lancaster. These will be moving through overnight tonight. In the meantime, again, very warm and very humid. The atmosphere almost completely saturated. We've got temperatures in the 70s with dew points to match. It is a steam bath out there and it's going to stay that way tomorrow. Even along the coast, even with an onshore flow, temperatures are still in the 70s in Ocean City, Stone Harbor and in Cape May. It's dry there for now. It is going to be oppressively humid again tomorrow, though, with dew points once again in the 70s. Now we cut the humidity Sunday and Monday, which is good news, but we're also going to cut down the temperature. So while tomorrow, first half of the day, at least before the storms move in, may actually be a decent beach day. Despite the cloud cover, it's going to be a little on the cool side for activities like that on Sunday and Monday. So again, around 2 a.m., we've got uh, just a few spotty showers moving through. Those will fizzle, and tomorrow, the first half of the day, kind of cloudy, steamy, but relatively dry. Then around 1 o'clock, we start to see these scattered showers and storms developing. Notice they're not everywhere. Here's 3 p.m. Maybe dry over the Lehigh Valley, maybe dry in South Jersey, but a few of these cells will be very heavy. We're talking heavy rainfall on the order of an inch or two in a short period of time, leading to the risk for localized flooding. So again, 4 o'clock, mainly to the south of the city, but any spot that gets under one of these storms, and it's impossible to tell exactly where they're going to pop up, expect those those heavy, heavy downpours. Seven o'clock, same story. This particular model has it over Millville. It could be further north. Again, it's hard to say where these exact cells will pop, but the threat will be for heavy rainfall, and that continues through Saturday night. Now, most of Sunday looks relatively quiet. We'll have an onshore flow. It'll be cloudy, cool, a few breaks of sun. Temperatures struggle to even hit 70, but Sunday night, we start to see another round of rain lifting in ahead of a front. That'll come through Sunday night into Monday and bring another chance for heavy downpours. So future temperatures. Tomorrow, we see a north wind. It's going to be warm. Any sun we get will help temperatures quickly rise into the 80s. But then watch what happens Sunday. That storm strengthens to the south. We get in on an east wind and during the day temperatures struggle to even make it past the 60s, 50s at 2 o'clock on Sunday down the shore and then 50s by 9 o'clock. A big swing through your weekend. So overnight warm and humid with scattered shower chances. Tomorrow first half of the day is just steamy with some clouds. Then those locally heavy showers pop up through the afternoon afternoon and into Saturday night. Any spot that gets stuck under one of those again could be dealing with the risk for flash flooding. We'll keep you posted if they issue any sort of a watch or warning for the area, of course, and you can get that as well with the CBS Philly app. It'll pop up for you. Eyewitness weather seven day forecast cool Sunday into Monday. Monday could start with some rain and then we'll slowly climb out of that pattern by the middle to end of next week. It looks like we'll get into some pretty nice June weather mm -hmm. kind of the weather we've been waiting for. Yeah.